Hello guys, welcome to C Learning with new video. In this video, we will learn about a uh, queuing mechanism in Omnet Plus Plus. So first of all, uh, close unnecessary projects. So close this project. So close. Uh, we don't want this project. And now create a new project. File new new project new project and name the new project like a uh, queuing mechanism. We are doing queuing. So okay. Next, uh, open the project with source and simulation folder. So select this and next and next. and the finish uh, now the folder is created now our folder project is created now just uh, open this project go in simulation and you can see here the ini file is present so the ini file is empty because now we will create a project and uh, now just uh, right click and create a nid file so you can see here the nid file is present so name this nid file according to your choice so i will give the nid file as a network file because it contain the network topology so just next and uh, nid file with uh, one item yes and then finish so you can see here the uh, space is created so you can see here that our network name is a network now we will uh, drag and drop some modules here will not do any programming but we will uh, drag and drop the uh, modules so you can see here here the no module present we have to add some libraries in this project so how to add this libraries so these are libraries are present queuing library and this queuing library and just add this so how to add go in project right click go here in properties and add preferences project preferences and select the project uh, library you want to I, i want to add this library because this library contain the some module and the pcs so i add this library in my project so you can see here i add my the library but no library is uh, no module is present here so you have to open the project so open this folder so you can see here now the modules are present so that's why close unnecessary pro project and open only that project that you want that is necessary for you so now we'll create a, a queuing mechanism first of all we create create a sync sync source and uh, and a fifo queue so first of all we pick here a source you can pick this source and this source as well so drag and drop source and a sync we need a sync where job go and we need a queue so pick this queue by default all queues are fifo queues so and the select the wire to catch them so uh, select this one data rate channel because we set the data of data rate of uh, this wire as well so we have uh, attached them now just click on wire go in parameter so you can give here some uh, parameter as well like uh, delay of this wire so delay of this wire should be 1 microsecond delay 1 microsecond delay 1 u second you can write u here and the data rate of this wire should be the either it is a gigabit or fast ethernet cable or any so we will allow this as a 10 mbps link cable ethernet cable okay m so this cable is 10 mbps cable now we set and okay now we will change this wire as well so just data rate of 1 microsecond and a delay of 1 microsecond and data rate of 10 uh, 10 mbps so we uh, now you can see here we drag and drop this module but we didn't uh, did any programming but you can see here if you go in source file so you can observe that all programming in back side is doing when we uh, drag and drop the project when we drag our project uh, any module so automatically it program so you can see here in connections we uh, attach the connection from source to queue so you can see source to queue and queue to sync so you can see here from source to queue with the uh, delay of 1 microsecond and data rate of 10 and from the queue to sync it also 1 microsecond delay and 10 mbps link and these modules uh, we uh, pick from the module list source sync and the queue so this is the how we can create a nid file and uh, you don't need to import anything it will automatically import uh, the packages and libraries so now we go in we create the uh, network file now we go in ini file and do some programming so remember one thing network should be same as uh, nid file and ini file so both network should be same to so remember this network its name is network so you can also change this uh, name as the network of uh, 222 triple 2 so you can see that, that this is a network of uh, r triple 2 so you can also just copy this and now here so now we uh, 
do some instruction so after this is the general means uh, it is a ini file after that uh, we give the network so first command is you have to give the network so this file will coordinate with this file so network name is our network sorry so network network command is network is equal to so this is our network network is triple two so you can see here uh, if you change the network it will show a mistake but if you do write a, a correct network so it will not show any mistake so after that what should be next command so next command should be the how many time how much time this simulation should run so the set the time same time limit command is same time limit limit is equal to uh, one hour one hour or 10 second you can write like this so one hour it should this simulation will run and after that how many packets should this source uh, should generate so this source will generate uh, 10 packets so we will uh, give the command that's the 10 packets should be generated by the source so the number of jobs sorry the command is uh, star sorry star star dot and the num jobs num jobs num jobs is equal to is equal to 10 jobs so you can see here so we give this command as the this should create the 10 jobs 10 jobs means the 10 packet it will generate it will generate 10 packet okay after that the command is after what time if this source generate a packet after what time this will generate a second packet so we'll give the source inter arrival time inter arrival time means if we drop a create a packet what is uh, the time between one packet and the other packet uh, so we'll set the time of uh, inter arrival time of source so command is source source because uh, this will generated by source dot and uh, should what should be next command inter arrival time so you can see here inter source inter arrival time so inter arrival time of source should be uh, one second after one second should be uh, this source will generate a packet if uh, this uh, generate a one packet and after one second it will generate a second packet after two seconds it will generate a second packet so this how this will packet generate and now the next command is how many time how much time this queue will take to filter a packet if uh, job come after every second so what time this queue will take to filter a job for this queue we have a command so we type command so remember one thing uh, this name should be similar to this command and now we are good, uh, giving a command of queue so this name should be similar as queue so now dot queue if you write queue so if you dot so you can see here the inter arrival of uh, service time so how many time it will filter take to filter a packet so how many time a queue will take to filter one packet so so it will take the two second we give we can give the name as it now this uh, we give this command so now just we built project so build the that the two file will coordinate with each other so after building is complete so now we'll run this project so run this project run so now you will observe we are safe so now you will observe in a new window that project is ready yes project is ready so now we give run this project now you can slow it down the, the first job is going in queue second job is going third job is going and now one job is queue one is service now first packet is filtered and two packet are in this and fourth job is coming here so that's how this jobs will come and this will filter the uh, job this queue will filter the job so increase the speed so six job is coming seven job is coming eight job is coming ten job nine job and tenth job so you can see here the five queue packet maximum five uh, queue packets are in a queue so that's how until it will reach the time so you can increase the speed so you can see the time is completed so it uh, queue it packets were in queue was 17,000 uh, 1799 so if you want to want the result of this file so just go in simulation right click new create a result file and a file is a result file name the file and finish so you will see this type of window so just uh, pick drag and drop this result in this file so you can see here two file are created so you can see observe that these are the result present so 
if you open this so you can uh, take the result of anything you want to take the result of sync source or queue we will check the result of queue so just click and from here you take whatever you want to take so first of all we check uh, the number of jobs how many number of packets uh, source generated or uh, jobs come to queue so you can see that minus one minus one means the infinity infinity number of packet come to uh, queue so if you want to check uh, any other thing so you can check from here that uh, queuing queuing length how many packet were in queue queue length vector so just here from here so you can observe that uh, at uh, at a time uh, 899.5 packet were in queue this is the mean value if you want to take the exact value so take the maximum value 799 which i show to uh, to you there when we end the queue when the simulation time end so you check uh, there that the there were the 1799 packets so if you want any other thing any other parameter you so you can check uh, how many time a uh, packet take in a queue so queuing time mean so you can take it from here so a packet take exact value 899 it's the time so 899 seconds so unit is this the this time this second a packet uh, take in a queue to wait to filter out so any other parameter how many packets were dropped so you can also uh, count from here so the drop count so you can see how many packet dropped by queue so zero packet were dropped by queue so no packet uh, queue drop so because this is a uh, queue infinite queue so it has an infinite queue so inter arrival time so how many time after what time uh, the jobs were coming after one second because we set this parameter in inl file after one second job should go in a queue okay interarrival time okay other is a service time so let's check the service time so if you check here the service time what was the service time so you will see the service time is two second any other parameter you want to check so you can check from here the start time stop, stop time and the total delay and any other parameter let's check lifetime keep jobs at a time how many jobs were keep keep jobs let's check what is this so false it's the uh, capacity let's check the capacity so capacity was infinite minus one means the infinite infinite capacity of uh, queue so the uh, number of jobs can store in a queue so data rate data rate was data rate of uh, this channel one and two q channel q channel was this and the uh, 10 1 raised to power 6 means uh, 10 raised to power 6 so you can busy time busy time average so you can see the how many time the this queue were busy any other parameter you want you can also check the parameter of uh, other like uh, parameters of source and the sync so this is all about uh, uh, creating a queue in a omnet so this was a also was very very basic uh, uh, project so see you in next video please subscribe my channel and hope you like the video